do I have ADHD? Well, I'm about to take a test about the ADHD symptoms, so make sure that you stay tuned so we can find out together. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And yeah, today I'm gonna take an ADHD test. So it's still Mental Health Awareness Month. Be sure to share this video. Let's increase some awareness. A lot of people struggle with ADHD, so this is kind of a big deal. But anyways, I deal with this struggle that I could dedicate a whole video to. I read a lot of mental health books, right? And one of my fears is that reading these books makes me think I might have symptoms of a mental illness, which really trips me out. I was talking to my girlfriend about it, but it's one of the reasons why I'm gonna start using BetterHelp for online therapy. And if you wanna try BetterHelp, make sure you use the link down in the description below. But anyways, like, Learning more about ADHD, like, I'm like, wait, I do that, I do that, and I do that. So I decided to take a test online, which is by no means like a a, a diagnosis. Uh, this involves seeing a professional and things like that. So I'm just gonna kind of get uh, a rough idea of if I have any of the symptoms. So let's do this thing. All right, so all I did was hop onto Google and type in ADHD test and the first one came up from Psych Central. Pretty legit website, so let's see how this thing goes. I am a 32 year old, 33 next month, um, male, all right. So, newly diagnosed? No. All right, one, how often do you have difficulty sustaining your attention while doing something for work, school, a hobby, or fun activity? Example, remaining focused during lectures, lengthy reading, or conversations. So like, for example, right now, I, uh, I was just in class. Um, I'm doing online courses for a uh, certified alcohol and drug counselor. And like, my mind was like all over the place. I'm checking the phone and stuff like that. But this is one of the reasons I meditate because it helps me acknowledge when my mind is wandering and going to other places. Um, so I catch myself no more often. Now, even though I catch myself, it doesn't really, um, mean that I'm always going to pull my attention back. Sometimes I'll let my brain go and do its thing. All right, so let's say, I'm not gonna say often, I think that would be an exaggeration. All right, so number two, how often are you easily distracted by external stimuli, like something in your environment or unrelated thoughts? All right, often. So this is the thing, like, I get hyper-focused on things and that's like when something pops into my mind that I really am passionate about or I really want to do, like I have to do it. Like I'm really interested in how much that plays into addiction as a whole because um, from what I've been reading, people with ADHD, they, they get this like laser-like focus on something that gets their attention and it's really hard to pull them away. So I got this idea for a video. I'm like, should I wait till tomorrow? Nah, I'm gonna do it right now. Um, so let's see, three, how often do you avoid, dislike, or are reluctant to engage in tasks that require sustained mental effort or thought? Never. Yeah, that's like, no, I don't, I don't do that. Like, um, what I will say is if it's a task that doesn't interest me, I might avoid it, but like most things, like I'm there. All right, how often do you have trouble listening to someone even when they are speaking directly to you? Like your mind is somewhere else. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say rarely. I'll be honest, it depends on the, pers the person, but something I, I practice a lot is mindful communication to connect with that person. I have clients who come in and things like that who, I need, uh, who need to talk with me, and sometimes about serious stuff. Um, my girlfriend, I try to give her as much of my attention as possible, even though sometimes I pick up this thing while we're talking. But like my son, I'm really bad about it and I feel awful, but like again, I'm mindful of it and I try to give him my full attention, but he's nine years old and sometimes he just, goes on and tells these like really irrelevant stories and my mind starts to wander. But anyways, Dylan, if you ever watch this, I'm sorry, daddy's working on it. All right, number five, how often do you have difficulty in organizing an, act, uh, an activity or task needing to get done? Poor time management, <laughs> fails to meet deadlines, difficulty managing sequential tasks. I'm gonna say sometimes instead of often. Like only because fails to meet deadlines, I'm a huge procrastinator still, um, but I, I 
do not miss deadlines. Like, it is extremely rare. Um, the way I manage my hectic brain and racing thoughts is that I'm an organized mess. Um, but yeah, time management and stuff, I've been talking um, to my buddy Kayla from the YouTube channel Panko Bunny um, about doing calendar blocking. And like, I'm trying to do calendar blocking on Google Calendar so I have better time management but I haven't found the time to do this thing that will help me manage my time. Um, so hopefully I'll do that this week. All right, number six. How often do you fail to give close attention to details or make careless mistakes in things such as schoolwork, at work, or other activities? I'm gonna say rarely. I'm not gonna say never because I'm not perfect. Um, but. But yeah, like, that's one of the biggest reasons I practice mindfulness. Like, uh, so many of us, like, we, we're just forgetful or we're not paying attention and things like that. We don't follow instructions. Now, I will say my girlfriend harps on me because I skim, I skim a lot of things. Um, but when it comes to, like, a task, I'm, I'm really, really focused on making sure that every piece of it is done. Um, for example, it's something I teach my son when it comes to Legos, like uh, so, so many things in life are about following instructions. Um, so I'm gonna say rarely. All right, number seven. How often do you forget to do something you do all the time, such as missing an appointment or paying, paying a bill? Rarely. Very rarely. You know what? Oh, this is only two, part two of three. Okay. But well, anyways, rarely, rarely, rarely. Um, I have managed to um, set up reminders for myself. I'm a very forgetful person. I've taught some of you about this in other videos. I forgot which one, sorry. But anyways, um, I, I utilize my cell phone a lot. Like when somebody gives me information to do something, I, I almost immediately put a reminder in my phone so I don't forget about it. Um, I suggest you do that too if you're forgetful. Number eight, how often do you lose, misplace, or damage something that's necessary in order to get things done? Rarely. Uh, your phone, eyeglasses, paperwork, wallet, keys, no. No, 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 no. You know what, never. I'm going with never. Like, no, 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 no. Um, I am very systematic with important things. Like, uh, I have a pocket system, you know, phones in this one, keys in that one, uh, wallet in uh, the back pocket, right? Don't try to mug me, by the way. But anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, I have a system and I always do a, a pocket pat before I walk out of the door um, because, all right, I'll switch to rarely, because, I have now and then uh, locked myself out of the house. So I, I do my best to always do like um, uh, a pocket pad. All right, nine, how often do you have trouble following through on instructions or failing to finish schoolwork, chores or duties in the workplace? You start a task but quickly lose focus and, and are easily sidetracked. I'll do sometimes, like, I don't know. But is that really ADHD? I avoid doing stuff that I don't want to do. Um, I think a lot of people do that, but yeah. All right, so number 10. How often are you unable to play or engage in leisurely activities quietly? What? Never? What? That's a weird question, I don't know. Maybe, it, I guess it makes sense. But yeah, just, maybe it's just weird to me. Like, I don't know, I just can't imagine like doing leisurely activities and making a lot of noise. Uh, let's see, number 11. How often do you have difficulty waiting your turn, such as while waiting in line? Pfft, never, never. I love waiting in lines. When I wait in lines, that's when I'm replying to all your YouTube comments and DMs and emails and all that stuff. Like, put me in a line. I make stuff happen. All right. Or a good book. Go to the DMV, bring a good book. All right. Uh, number 12. How often do you feel like you're on the go, acting as if you're driven by a motor? Um, example, you're unable to be or, wait, you're unable to be or uncomfortable being still for an extended period of time, such as in a restaurant or a meeting. Uh, rarely, I don't really get fidgety. I can sit somewhere forever. My main problem is just getting tired. That's the main issue. Like, if I, like, um, if I stand up like during like a lecture or something like that, it's because I'm tired. It's not because I need to like, like move around. Um, 13, how often do you leave your seat in situations when remaining seated is expected? 
like that's almost the same, but I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna say rarely. Like I was gonna answer it based on like what the test is wanting or not what the test is wanting. Like I do, but only when I'm tired, I don't get fidgety. All right, so 14, how often do you blurt out an answer before a question has been completed? Ah, uh, it, it's a, no, 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 I'm gonna say never. Like today, never. Like, again, mindfulness. Man, if you're getting anything from this video, start practicing mindfulness. Like, it happens a lot where I get the urge. I get the urge, like, when somebody's talking slow and I'm in a rush, or if I just want them to get to the point, like, I'm mindful of getting this urge to do that and I restrain myself and let them finish because I don't like getting interrupted. Do you? No, of course not. So I, I restrain that urge. Now, if that was a question about the urge to do so, I'd say often. All right, last page. How often do you feel restless? Like you want to get out and do something? <sighs> Sometimes. Um, it's not really get out and do something, but I do, I do have a problem like just sitting back and relaxing. Um, and I don't know how much of that would be related to this or just my workaholic um, mindset. Like it's very hard for me to just sit down and watch a movie uh, uh, with my son or with my girlfriend. It's really hard for me to just sit down and read. Hell, it's hard for me to sit down and meditate because even when I'm trying to meditate, like my brain's like, you need to go do something. You need to go do work. So not like get out, but like in, yeah. How often do you fidget w with or tap your hands or feet or squirm in your seat? Rarely. How often do you find yourself talking ex <laughs> How often do you find yourself talking excessively? Often. <laughs> I didn't know this was like a symptom. Um, I, I'm very long-winded. I'm long-winded. Do you, do all of you understand how hard it is for me to not make each video 30 minutes? I have to shorten them just because of other people's inability to sustain their attention, but I'm very long-winded. Like, if, if you were ever in one of my groups, like, when people ask me questions, it is a, a very long answer. Like, some people are afraid of public speaking. I used to be, but like, now, like, I, I love it. Like, I always have something to talk about. Like, go check my live stream. I'll, I'll link it up here, but I'll talk all day, baby. 18, how often do you interrupt or intrude on others such as butting into their conversations or talking over whatever, uh, what others are doing? Never, that kind of relates to that other one. Uh, 19, were several, of symptom, uh, were several of the symptoms present prior to age 12? I don't know. I did. I did a lot of mind-altering substances. Let's let's say no. See, I'm answering no because I feel bad. I don't want to. I, I check in with my brain, and I don't want to try to have ADHD. You know what I mean? Like, I, I I've been restraining myself in this. And being like, yes, often, yes, yes, yes. Because um, another video I need to do something about is when people are like trying to have symptoms of a certain illness, and like we need to really be mindful of when we're doing that. Like. It's okay to just be okay. Um, do do the symptoms appear? Uh, do the symptoms appear in at least two or more settings? Yes. All right. Score my ADHD quiz. You scored a total of twenty-one. Inattention subscale is thirteen. Oh, so there's two different things. Okay. So hyperactivity impulsivity subscale eight. So adult ADHD is 34 and up. Um, moderate ADHD is 26 to 33. ADHD possible. See, that's why I made this video, to see if it was possible that I had ADHD. Boom, we figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. All right, um, so yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Like, I think this actually maybe put my mind at ease a little bit. Like, maybe I don't have it. Maybe I just have a racing mind. I don't know. But anyways, like I said, uh, once I once I have some more funds, I am signing up for BetterHelp Online Therapy. Again, link down in the description um, to see um, what I can do. But until then, I'm gonna keep on meditating to train my attention. If you, have, if you know somebody who might have some of these symptoms, make sure you share it with them. They might realize that they need to go get help. Who knows? 
helping others, that's what we do. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. And sometimes I'm trying to help mine. Click that little round subscribe button. And if you want to check out some other videos on this channel, you can click or tap on that thumbnail right there. All right. So thank you so, so, so much for watching. Try to keep your mind focused and I'll see you next time.